And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Endure Undying as our first deck today. Uh, we have four donation decks to play today, so that's pretty exciting. We've had some viewers submitting some deck lists, and so all four of the decks that we're playing today are all donated by viewers. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I haven't... Uh, I didn't put any of these together, but they all look really, really sweet. And we'll go through them. So this one is Undur Undying. If you want to have your own deck played on stream and then also made a YouTube video for it's just a $10 donation. And the donation link is in the video description for those of y'all watching on YouTube. And I'll also build a deck for you as well if you want to donate and, and have me build a deck. Like you want a Braum Callista deck. I'll do that, you know. That kind of thing. All right, anyway, um, we got uh, you know, kind of like the regular old um, They Who Endure strategy, but we're not going with spiders. Instead, we're playing uh, some just pretty good threats um, on their own and uh, and things that are difficult to get rid of. We have like Curse Keeper in here with Ravenous Butcher. We have that co combo that can get a lot of damage in. Um, we have the Undying that's just really difficult to deal with. Of course, that's the second part of our name. And then we also have um, like Mist Wraiths and Wraith Callers, and we can uh, keep bringing those back. Like we can Chronicler of Ruin either the Undying or Wraith Callers and get more Mist Wraiths and have some bigger threats um, from that respect. So, not having much champions in here. Uh, looks like this was. Um, probably a little bit of a budget list. We just have one Callista as the only champion um, in our deck. Uh, something I, I actually really like Absorb Soul. It's like a, um, a card, especially with the Undying. Because the Undying is really bad against other aggro decks. Like It's just, too, it's just slower than, uh, than what other aggro decks are doing. So I really like the Absorb Soul to be able to drain four, um, give you that extra life to give you another turn and make the Undying bigger. I do like that card quite a bit. And it's not, not bad against, I don't know, like an Ezreal deck that uh, you take away a target for them from them. <clears throat> but yeah, we're going with the They Who Endure combo with Atrocity, of course. I like how there's just all three Atrocities in here. I do like that, because I think Atrocity is a really good card in this deck, because it's not only good with They Who Endure, but it's also really good with the Undying. So that, that's what we got going on. Um, so here we go. Hey, Giant, good afternoon. All right, let's go play some games. We're gonna go play five games over in Masters and see how our deck does. So that's the thing, if you wanna, if you wanna have your deck tested out in Masters, and um, you, know, you can have that with the donation decks. All right. Hey, Samoa. Samoa, I'm playing your deck um, last today. I'm calling it Heimer Puff Caps. Come with your deck last. So, I like Wraith Caller and Chronicler of Ruin. Hapless Aristocrat is fine as a one drop. Let's mulligan this, though, and look for twos and threes. So far, so good. Hey, dog. Hey, welcome to the stream. Glad, glad you're enjoying it and everything. Happy to have you here. So yeah, you just got into the game. That's good. Yeah, just keep, keep learning. And so let's say I play Callista, and then they play the 3-2 Lifesteal. I'm going to feel kind of bad because I won't really be able to attack after that. I mean, I guess I could, but I'll just attack first. Danger paid. Hmm. Jaw Hunters. Hmm. 
The blessed Isles lives through me. So we're probably just gonna challenge the Wraith Caller. Ooh, no challenge, okay. Good. I'll take that. If I play anything pre-combat, then they get to play stuff, and then they get to, you know, if they play something, they get a free sapling to block with. So it's not really in my best interest to play anything pre-combat because of the free sapling. But with that being said, it's also in my best interest to play something, like to play like Callista pre-combat. Tough choice. Out of water. You know, let them have a free sapling blocker or not. I'm gonna go with the answer being a new. Yeah, that would have made my attacks worse, having a Thresh also in play. Yeah, I'm guessing it may be a little bit more of a, a budget. I'm guessing it may be a budget list that we're playing here today with just having the one Callista. It does make it kind of awkward because, you know, once this Callista dies, that's it. You know, we don't have a Rekindler or another Callista. So even if I would, like, level up this Callista, but it dies, it doesn't help me too much. I feel like they have Grasp or Withering Whale. So otherwise, I feel like if they had if they had a unit like some enemy they wanted to play, they would have played a pre-combat. Um, I guess this is gonna kill the other one. Basically, I'm just sacking the spider. So that'll be three things dying. That will level up Thrash. Don't really want to level up Thresh.
I guess I could have just thrown this Foul Feast out here to kill the Maokai. I can just do that after combat, though. Alright, getting rewarded for saving Butcher, this Undying. So I want another they who I want another atrocity and a they who endure. That's a whole lot of cards over there. My opponent sitting on. That's a whole lot of cards. And with all that life gain, we've done one point of damage now. <laughs> After all of that. All that work, and they're at 19. everywhere. Basically, I didn't play the Butcher yet because, um, I didn't want them to be, I didn't want them just to challenge my Butcher. So I'm gonna play I'm gonna play the they who endure on their turn. Some more things to die. The water rises. So I think those came back. Like I think I think Nautilus leveled up and then those got tossed. I think so. They're down to nine cards left. Hope this eighteen eighteen can get there. Nope. 
they were kind of doing a similar thing to us, but much better. That's what it really looked like. I'm not sure, without playing any champions, I'm not sure how successful our deck's going to be. But we just kind of saw their... They Who Endure is a card that I just have not been impressed with the more I've been playing it. Right now it just... It just looks pretty low on the power level scale compared to what everybody else is doing. I think I said They Who Endure whenever I said that. I meant to say The Undying. They Who Endure is great. It's The Undying. That's the card that seems pretty weak. Let's keep playing some games. Hmm. All right, so a mirror match. They're going with spiders and a bunch of champions. Let's see how we do. Let's keep this. Yeah, let's keep this. Oh, you're welcome, Bomb. You're welcome. <laughs> nice, Ravel. Well, you liking the the deck names? Yeah, it's kind of like it doesn't have like a long history of like deck names and stuff, so you kind of have to make them up yourself. And so I kind of just go with like two words to try to describe the deck as best as possible. You know, using like card names. Undying. <laughs> Not and ready. I must get out of here. <laughs> Undying's Nat Vine deck for me, meme, meme tier Monday. So, that would work. So, like, you'd have a Snapvine in play, you'd play the Undying, which would kill it and bring it back as a Snapvine. But so then at, and at round start, uh, so at like round start, you'd revive the Undying again with plus one, plus one, but then it would die immediately because the Overgrown Snapvine. So, basically. So that would just be round start, you get an overgrown snap vine, right? Like, I think that's how that would work. That sounds like how that would work. Okay, yep, that's how that would work. That could be pretty good. That could be a way to use the undying. Nothing escapes my watch. Yeah, and then if you if you had six of them in play, then it would just obliterate. with these things and let them go block block yeah because otherwise they'll just block these two yeah I think I do Give them a chance. I think we want to get you know like we are they who endure deck we want to get as much damage in as possible this is a really good ruination matchup I'm glad we have the ruination because they're just trying to go wide as well. We, Ruination 
uh, does grow our Undyings. Like, Ruination with Undying is awesome. I could definitely see just playing three Ruination in this, this deck, to be honest. That's a card that really makes the Undying better. Playing Callista makes their attack a lot worse. They who endures 5-5 five, five so far. Now, I'd be happy, you know, like, I'm happy with this trade, which is why I attacked with Callista. Down to six. The Undyings are getting some work in here. All right, let's just get rid of one of their They Who Endures. Hope they don't have another. That's, of course, the only card that's really going to be able to kill us. Again, hopefully they don't have another one. They're out there. I'll spot them. Good. I guess they could still have one. Are they gonna ruination back? Do it, ruination. Wow, just passing with nine mana. I guess they're saying they're dead. So if I, it looks like if I did not Ruination, you know, they would have had the plus four, plus four on their They Who Endure, and they would have had the Atrocity. The life would have been a lot messier. So good Ruination. I do like Ruination quite a bit in this. Uh, um, this deck, like I was saying. Okay, so we're going to... Hmm. I think we get rid of Atrocity for now. And... I don't know. Hapless Aristocrat is not really good against Fiora, but it's kind of good against the rest of the deck. I'll just keep it. It's also good with our strategy of having things die for they who enter. 
Hey, Drew. I'll write my own story. I won't back down. Hello. these things down eventually. are about the same. They trade with each other and they both make another thing. They're about the same. Oh, I should have blocked that with the Wraith Car. No, oh, no, 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 because yeah, never mind. I was going to Kronk Clover and Wraith Crawler, right? Perfect. Now they're all 4 twos. So now they can be trading. Attack. Wow, that's a lot of damage they just took. Ooh. Alright, so they got Vi on top. They just drew a Vi. Hickey Q. Surprise. Yeah, that deck is Bannerman Demacia that just splashes Vi. Basically plays Vi instead of Garen because Vi is a better card. Poor Garen. Show them what we're made yeah, so we're going to have uh, new changes next week. Alright, so I attack out. What are their blocks? The 6-6 six, six has to block the 8-8. Eight, eight. So they go down to 2. Then they have... Uh, four four block three three, and then uh, two two has to just go in front of like four four, three three blocks four three. Yeah, and then they have to trade trade. So they end up losing everything except for their four four, and I lose a lot of stuff. But I keep my eight eight and like one other thing. I keep like two things. They keep one thing. Like why why would they block like this? Like why would those two not be traded? Like why would they not just have the 4 4 go in front of here and the 3 3 go in front of here? Like that's just a really bad block. 
They could have just saved this four core. So I thought that they were gonna have, you know, like their four one left, and I was gonna have two things left. But they just made a poor block. The, the give up block. All right, they who endure, being strong. The mistrates were real strong there too. I don't think that like the turn before they should have just taken you know 16 damage and gone down to four. Oh no, QQ. No. I'm so sorry to hear about her, uh, you know, being your kitty cat heading into the kitty hospital. I'll... I'm praying for her, for him. Hope everything. Hope he's okay. This is a, just a pretty unfortunate hand. Um, okay, it definitely got better with the butcher, but I was gonna say that like we had, we had all of our. Um, Enablers. In our opening hand, and so we mulligan them, and then we have like all of our payoffs. And we didn't have any, we didn't have like a combination of payoffs and enablers. That changed with drawing the Ravenous Butcher, but at first that was looking bad. health potion was in a card. Oh, we just definitely block here with the 4-4 four, four, and then the next turn block with the 3-2. You know, like... The health potion's a card. Good. Take that trade. All right, let's mess some folks up. No place for the kind. Here we go. So would we rather? Rather make, you know, make have a, a multiple three threes, make one of them big. I think we'd probably rather just spread out and just keep making a bunch of three threes. Dang. Okay. The Undying. I had to talk bad about it after the first game. And then my control opponent was like, yeah, I'm not going to race three undyings. I was going to go ahead and sack, like we were about to make a new 2-2 two -two, and I was going to sack the new 2-2 two -two to the Glimpse Beyond. So we we're going to have three three threes for the undyings.
All right, and Frozen Fiora. Ooh. It's all of our top end payoff. So we just get rid of all of it. All right, the Ruination, like, if we win this, it's probably going to be on the back of Ruination. We need Ruination on turn six. So with having the Curse Keeper on turn two means if we go turn three Undying, turn four Chronicler, the Undying, so we get multiple of those out because we're going to Ruination, then... Then turn five. I don't get to do anything. Turn five, we're gonna be glimpsed beyond doing whatever they challenge because this they're probably gonna kill one of these things. So now Fiora's gonna have two, like you know, Fiora will be leveled up. I'm glad they're not playing deny. Yeah, we started off rough, but yeah, we've been been Just doing good now. Such unrefined style. Yep. Call that. I have no equal. That's okay. They need like two This'll take the chill off. Single combats. No place for the kind. And like for me to lose, because you know, we're gonna sacrifice whatever they whatever they challenge with Viora. <clears throat> so they'd have to have like two single combats and also some kind of protection with the six mana. Which is, which is possible. So it is possible we lose. But unlikely. I wish I could play you on dying, but I can't. Gotta play Ruination. Son Gohan! Thanks to the Twitch Prime sub. Brand new Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. All right, so the reason that my opponents did those things right then was so that um, they got to use their mana, you know, because they, they were just going to have that mana be wasted if they did not. So unfortunately, we know they have another Fiora. They got a backup Fiora after this Ruination. So that's a bummer. Yeah, I guess if they would have had Unyielding Spirit, that would have been not good. But not much we could do about that. My honor, you must die. Wow. Must die. No other option, huh? Looks like no other option. in 
the honor of God. You will be scoured from this land. He has a 1010. 1010's pretty big. The thing about these atrocities is, you know, like they are a Freljord deck, so like harsh winds could certainly be coming. Uh, but that being said, I just I don't think we have a better option. I don't think that playing some more of these little things is probably better than playing a 1010. Let's me bank three mana for the next turn. I can certainly see them passing priority here, expecting to harsh winds, and I think I just pass priority back. Have them waste all that mana and everything. I don't think it's a good attack. I mean, it's a fine attack, but it's not. Yeah, I I like just you know basically that turn I do do something. I put a ten ten into play. They do nothing. I like that. They haven't had unyielding so far. They would have had unyielding. They have unyielding. They just drew it in the last couple turns. We know on turn six they did not have unyielding. Alright, so this will be number two. Don't want to play. I just don't want to play these small creatures and give them a more quality Fiora targets. Not bad. which way it's better to attack with this Radiant Guardian, if it's better to attack this way or the other way. I'm not sure, honestly. I feel like if we go this way, they like Frostbite one of these, take the damage, Radiant Guardian gets in front of these, they gain it back. I think it's probably better. Come on. We have to go the other way. Which, of course, they may just take, take, and then throw a Radiant Guardian in front of one of these. There's not a way that I, you know, like, neither way is, like, one that I love. Sharp blade, sharp mind. Hold back the darkness! Talk about your tab. So I could either absorb soul this 4 4 or atrocity and throw it at the Radiant Guardian to get rid of it so they don't have, they don't gain the 5 life from blocking. And of course, this has overwhelm, so we'll keep on going. Um. I think I'm going to absorb soul. I'll 
keep keep our uh, keep our options open for these atrocities. All right, one mana. I don't think they'll have anything with one mana to stop me from killing them. Yeah, I don't think so. Fiori animation too? Uh, no Fiori animation. Alright, so we still ended up with a 4-1. And the Undying actually looked pretty good. So I have to you know, kind of take take some things back it looks like from the first from the first game that looked kind of rough if you did notice like the other the other decks that we're playing against were kind of slower decks i guess demacia is not really a slower deck i think my demacia opponent didn't play very well to be honest i, I don't think they they uh did very good blocks like they took way too much damage when they didn't need to and then and uh let us kind of take over with a they who endure um yeah even though their nexus is at negative one it still just kind of goes through the motions and resolves everything before the game ends i guess it's you know that's just how it's programmed to be but yeah i really liked you know like mist wraith and wraith caller is nice we never missed on wraith caller which is awesome we only have the three they who endures that would have missed um yeah like it actually like everything kind of worked pretty well even without champions um the rest i mean just i really like having three atrocity three they who endure and just really focusing on that combo and maximizing that i, I really do like that and I, I like um ways to kill your own undying so i like having all the ravenous butchers and these absorb souls like that was pretty nice having that absorb soul one mana you know get rid of our undying and kind of start the action at that point so pretty sweet all right that's a good one that's a good one good way to start off the day a 4-1 in masters is not easy that is really not easy but uh it shows you how powerful they who endure is that it just um you know helped us you know get some wins against some strong decks and even sometimes the undying if you have like the right matchup or if your opponent has like the wrong kind of hand like if, if they can't pressure you very much like if, you know if they're a slower deck and they're not pressuring you as we as we saw with like the karma um lux deck that we just had all these undyings because of chronicler of ruin and it just smothered our opponent all right so a uh, good way to kick off the stream today. Those of y'all watching later on at YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, leave those comments. Let me know what you think about this deck with basically no champions. Um, so yeah, this is seems like a really budget-friendly version. Because let's see, common, 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 one champion. Undying is epic. There's three of those. But then common, and then rare, rare, rare common epic okay so we have five epics and a few rares at the top um i guess just three three total rares yeah just three total rares so five epics nine rares one champion and the rest commons that's not bad that's like a good um you know good 25 commons pretty sweet all right anyway thanks so much for watching some endure undying and i'll see you for the next video